In this video, we're going to do a utility maximization problem when the consumer has a kink in their budget constraint. Here is the consumer's utility function. Uh, it's a function of units of good X and units of good Y. We're going to assume that the consumer has $10 of income, the price of good X is $1, and the price of good Y is also $1. To get the kink in the budget constraint, we're going to assume the consumer gets the first five units of good X for free. And I'll be having a picture of the budget line over here. Uh, the blue budget line is going to be the actual budget line when the first five units of good X are free. So here is the blue budget line that I'm outlining with my mouse. So that is the consumer's actual budget line when the first five units are free. You'll notice here that if the consumer spends all their income on good Y, the, income, the consumer could buy 10 units of good Y, an income of $10 and a price of good Y is $1. And because the first five units of good X are free, the consumer could afford a point right here at this kink, 10 units of good Y and 5 units of good X. On the other hand, with this first five units of good X free, if the consumer spent all his or her income on good X, the consumer would be able to buy 10 units of good X. Income is 10, the price of good X is one, so you could buy 10 units of good X and get five free. Okay, the first five are free, so that would be a point down here at this extreme point. So if you spent all your income on good X, because you're getting the first five units free, you would be able to get 15 units of good X. In terms of the utility maximization, the way we want to proceed is we're going to use the straight line budget line that touches the y-axis at 15 here and extends all the way to 15 when it touches the x-axis. So that's what we're going to use when we are maximizing utility. So once again, our utility function. So when we're doing the utility maximization part now, we're going to assume that the consumer has that straight line budget line that touches the y-axis and the x-axis at 15 implying that income is fifteen dollars keeping the prices unchanged the consumers budget constraint looks like this and now we're going to maximize utility you're going to get the marginal utility of good x uh, this 0 0.2 i just brought the one fifth down in front so one fifth is just 0 0.2 and then we got one fifth in the numerator in the exponent here, subtracting one leaves x raised to the minus four fifths power. We get the March utility good y. We bring down the four fifths in front here. Four fifths is just zero point eight, and then four fifth minus one leaves us with minus one fifth in the exponent. Setting up the marginal rate of substitution. The marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y and simplifying. 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.8 leaves us with 4 in the denominator. And then following the rules of exponents, we're just going to get Y divided by X here. To maximize utility, the marginal rate of substitution will equal the price of good X divided by the price of good Y. And given that the price of each good is a dollar, we're just going to set the marginal rate of substitution, this y divided by 4x equal to 1. I'm going to solve for y, and now I'm going to take this result and plug it into the budget constraint. So where I see a y, I'll put in 4x. Simplifying this, x equals 3, and since y equals 4x, y equals 12. The problem here is this bundle is not on the budget constraint. This x equals 3 and y equals 12 is not on the actual consumer's budget constraint or budget line. So where x equals 3 and y equals 12, that is a point up here, the consumer cannot afford that point. So in that case, the consumer will maximize utility at the kink, which is y equals 10 and x equals 5. Let's just show this with indifference curves. So with indifference curves, we found that we can get an indifference curve tangent to the budget line 
that extends from 15 here on the vertical axis to 15 on the horizontal axis where y is 12 and x equals 3. So again, the consumer cannot afford this point right here. Uh, the consumer would need $12 to buy this amount of good Y, 12 units at a dollar piece. But remember, the consumer only has $10. So this is not affordable to the consumer. So the best the consumer can do is going to be right here at the kink. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.